Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today in this video we are going to be talking about a very interesting vulnerability called the zero click code execution vulnerability over Bluetooth. This has become a widespread vulnerability across the internet. A new tool named Blue Ducky automating the exploitation of critical Bluetooth pairing vulnerability that allows zero click code execution for unpatched devices. This actually is a finding that comes after Mark Newlin's January 2024 publication of, of a proof of concept script which targets Bluetooth vulnerability identified as CVE 2023-4586-6. The important thing that you all have to notice here is this vulnerability enables attackers to inject keystroke into Android and Linux device within the Bluetooth range without the need of pairing. That's the highlight here. You don't need to even pair, right? So this vulnerability is based on the Bluetooth pairing technique, right? So when the Bluetooth pairing happens, this particular vulnerability can actually be exploited, right? What is done and how is it actually exploiting? This particular tool, what it does is it actually masquerade, makes it look like a Bluetooth keyboard, right? Which means that uh, if this particular device is identified as a keyboard, it can automatically start typing in certain payloads, which could eventually compromise the system. So let me dig it a little deeper. This exploit tool is called, hi, my name is keyboard you know, with underscores there, right, was initially designed to demonstrate the feasibility of such an attack. So you can actually get this particular script on GitHub also. The mobile hacker team successfully compromised a range of devices, including Android smartphones, Google's Chromecast TVs, MetaQuest 3 and Linux based smart TVs. However, the original script required users to manually discover and enter the MAC address of the target Bluetooth device and modify the code to change and inject keys. But eventually that was automated, right? So you can actually go do a GitHub search saying Blue Ducky. Uh, this is a script that is developed by a team called the Obmania team. It's O-P-A-B-I-N-I-A, -I -I Obmania team and they made it available as an open source on GitHub. It addresses three limitations by addressing the entire, automating the entire process, right? Because otherwise this particular thing can't be automated. So this tool, which can be run on a Raspberry Pi 4 with Kali Linux or a rooted Android device running NetHunter, right? Scans for nearby Bluetooth devices, allowing users to select target from a list and it then executes the typical rubber ducky scripts stored in the text file that are uh, stored in the same folder. Eliminating the need of manual script modification. How sweet is that, right? One of the key features that I would call from the blue ducky is the potential for true automation, right? By editing this particular TXT script, it could be configured to continuously discover device and attempt exploitation logging the results of each attempt as a separate file also or it could be also updated online according to the developer experience if a device is vulnerable the script completes successfully highlighting the critical uh, importance of patching uh, the same cve 2023-45866 vulnerability to protect against such attacks. Blue Ducky represents a significant advancement in the exploitation of Bluetooth vulnerabilities by automating the process, making it accessible to the attackers and potentially increasing the risk of unpatched devices. So this is something that I really found exciting and uh, are you someone who uses Bluetooth on a regular basis? Are you someone who uses Android phones on a daily basis? Are you someone who uses Linux machines on a daily basis? So please drop in a comment on the section below and let me know you are scared or not of such vulnerabilities coming every single day in this particular digital era, right? In case you like this content, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, stay secure, Keep innovating. Thank you.